Hello, welcome to Aspire to Soar. My name's Kerry, I am an EFT tapping practitioner and today we are going to be tapping on menopause insomnia. Now, menopause insomnia is something that affects a lot of women in the West when they're going through a time in their life that we call a menopause. In a survey in 2008, and I think it was the journal, Clinical Journal of Nursing, it came up that um, lack of sleep or insomnia was one of the worst symptoms for women of menopausal age, so from 40 through to 60. So this area obviously affects quite a lot of women. Before we start tapping, I did just want to mention that in my work with the menopause, with my clients and research into the menopause, it's actually come up that a lot of people around the world in different cultures don't actually suffer with these same symptoms as we do in the West. So in Japan, for instance, they don't get any of these traditional menopause symptoms that we get here in the West. In fact, the most commonly reported symptom in Japan for a time in your life that you would call the menopause is a sore shoulder, which is equally as well reported in men of the same age as it is in women. So that's more related to age than it is the menopause anyway. Um, in fact, they don't even have a word for a lot of the common symptoms that we have, like hot flashes and flushes. They don't have words for that in Japanese because it doesn't really exist to them. Um, the word for the menopause in Japanese, so what they would call the menopause, is a word called konenki. So this, a literal translation of konenki is renewal year energy. We in the West call it the menopause, which just means monthly stop. So already when you look at the difference between the two cultures, you can see how they might possibly be embracing this as a time of transition and change. Whereas for us, it's just the end and that's it. Um, and your symptoms and anything that happens during this time are something to be dealt with quietly, kept secret and not really talked about. So what I want to do today is to tap around this um, insomnia that so many of you are struggling with and suffering with and see if we can get some relief from that. Now we know we don't have to suffer with this, doesn't have to be this way. We can look at what we can do to change it using tapping. So before we start, I would like to say, if you can grab a pen and a piece of paper, because when we're tapping, what often happens is thoughts will come into your mind. And it's really, really important to take note of these thoughts or memories or emotions that come up for you, because they are the ones that are likely to be driving whatever is behind this insomnia, this lack of sleep. Um, so it's really important to write those down. And then maybe after you finish this video, look at working on those separately, whatever issues come up. Maybe there's something that comes up and you think, well, yeah, I'm really stressed about that. Or I'm really anxious about that. Or, or that's a memory I, you know, I really don't like and I don't want to think about and I don't know why it's coming up now. They're all things that you do need to take a look at and look at releasing from your body in whatever way you choose to do that, whether that's through EFT, whether that's choosing a, a practitioner to help you or some other form of therapy, it'd be really important to you to be able to work through those issues and release them. Okay, so now you've got a pen and paper. Um, what all you need to do is tap along with me. So you just need to do what I do, say what I say. So even if you've never tapped before in your life, I will talk through the points as we go so that you know where to tap. And all you have to do is follow along. So we're going to start on the side of our hand here on a point that's known as the karate chop point. And we're going to tap with the fingers of the other hand. And then you just need to repeat after me. Even though my body is changing and going through a transition, the menopause, and I am really uncomfortable with some of these changes and with how my body is presenting these changes to me. But I still completely and deeply love and accept myself anyway. Even though I can't sleep. 
because my body is going through this transition. And it can feel so frustrating. I get frustrated with my body because I need to sleep. I have so much to do. But my mind and my body won't let me sleep. But I still completely and deeply love and accept myself anyway. Even though I feel like I will never have a good night's sleep again. I miss sleep. I miss waking up after a whole night's sleep. I hate this insomnia. It's not fair. I am a busy woman. And being tired drags me down and stops me doing what I need to do. But now I'm stuck in this cycle of no sleep, of worrying about sleep, of thinking about sleep, but not actually sleeping. But I still completely and deeply love and accept myself anyway. Okay, we're gonna to move to the top of our head. This lack of sleep, this insomnia, side of your eyebrow, side of your eye. I can't sleep under your eye. I want to sleep just under your nose. I am so frustrated with myself onto your chin. I am stuck in this cycle. And just under your collarbone, I have so much to do. And I have not got time for being tired. I feel like I will never have a good night's sleep ever again. That's the top of your head. Why can't I sleep? Side of your eyebrow. It's not fair. Side of your eye. I am so frustrated with my body and my mind. Just under your eye. I resent my body for changing. Under your nose. I feel powerless onto your chin. I am a victim of my own body. Onto under your collarbone. I really miss sleeping. I miss it a lot. That makes me feel sad and frustrated and cross with myself. Why can't I sleep? It's not fair. This lack of sleep, this insomnia. Okay, 
What we need to do is just take a nice deep breath in and we're going to blow all that negativity away. So breathe in and then blow it all away. Okay, so with EFT, it's really important to acknowledge all of these negative feelings first before we move on to anything else. Now, I do want to say, as we move on, if there's anything that I say as we're tapping that does not resonate with you, then please change the words to anything that works for you. OK, so we're going to go back to the top of our heads and we're going to change our statements a little bit. And we're going to say, maybe. I could choose. To know. That it doesn't have to be this way. Maybe I am not a victim. Side of your eye. Maybe I could take back some control. Maybe I could choose to know that this does not happen to every woman all around the world. Maybe I could choose to change this cycle. Maybe instead of frustration, I could just embrace my body just as it is. Maybe I can embrace this time of transition in my life. Maybe I could look at it differently. Maybe I could choose to let go some of this frustration that I hold because I can't sleep. Maybe I could let that go. Maybe life doesn't have to be this way. Okay, so let's take another deep breath in and we're going to blow that away as well. So deep breath in and then blow it away. Okay, so for the last part, we're going to move on to some positive ways of thinking and affirmations that we expect from our bodies and our minds going forward. And do remember, if anything's come up for you, particularly towards those maybe statements, any yeah, buts, I can't do that because write them down. They're really important. Okay, so let's start back on the top of our head. I embrace change. I can do that. I accept myself for who I am in every moment. I am in control of my life and my body. I can let frustration towards my body, I can let that go. I am releasing any shame that I feel about my body at this time in my life, I am letting it go. I am worthy of this wisdom that comes with age. I am ready to release this insomnia doesn't serve me anymore. 
I'm releasing it. I am strong. And I am a wise woman. I am not a victim of my own body. I have no desire to spend my life worrying about sleep. I am worthy of a good night's sleep. I deserve that. I am letting go of any stress and anxiety that I am holding on to about sleep. It's floating away from me. My body is my friend, not the enemy. I drift off to sleep quickly and easily. And I stay asleep. I am ready to let go of frustration towards my body. I I'm a wonderful sleeper. I am free from stress and anxiety and frustration about sleep because I am a wonderful sleeper and I am worthy of a great night's sleep. Okay, so let's take one nice deep breath in together and blow it away. Okay, so I hope you're feeling more positive now about going to sleep. This video is really great to use just before you go to sleep to get rid of all of that anxiety. And also any time throughout the day when you find yourself starting to worry and that frustration and the anxiety and the stress starts to creep in, pop the video on and tap through it. And also don't remember, I'm sorry, do remember to look at um, anything you've written down and look at how you're going to work through those issues going forward as well, because it will really, really help. So I hope you found that helpful. Do let me know in the comments below how you feel after you've done the tapping session and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.